Hey guys, what's happening? So, yeah, last night my um, one of my cards died. I suspected this card was already going out because the fan is all jacked up. So I'm currently mining Ethereum with this, and the three other cards are actually mining right now. And yeah, if you're running with a rig, this is actually my 3D printed rig. That's on my Thingiverse page. So if you wanna, if you have a 3D printer that's big enough to print this, um, yeah, this is a four GPU mining rig. All right, so here is the card in question. As you can see, I mean, this thing is totally jacked. It was actually making noise for a while. Then, like I said, all of a sudden, it just stopped, stopped mining. Uh, I do actually do prefer the cards that actually have this, um, the metal bagging. This actually helps dissipate heat. But so I have to get this. Uh, I need to figure out how to take this card apart here. But it looks like the top. I mean, I could probably do it the whole thing without having to take. Uh, the thing off, but I want to repaste it, but that's a good sign, though, that the uh, stickers have never been taken off. I don't know if this is still under warranty or not. It's probably about four years old. Three or four years old, probably. So let me show you the replacement pan that I got here. Got this on Amazon. Um, should be around the same size. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty close. Alright, looks like there's four screws, and then these two right here. Alright, so there is the heatsink separated from the card there. And uh, I do actually have this MX4 thermal compound that I'm using by Arctic. Put a link down below. But yeah, you can f the, the paste is pretty, pretty. I mean, it's still a little bit moist, but it's definitely uh, getting pretty hard. That is actually another, looks like the, uh, I think these are, these are the VRMs here. Alright, so I guess I'm going to clean off. you got to be really careful because there's actually capacitors. Really very microscopic capacitors that support the, uh, around the actual GPU. So I'm going to use some electronics cleaner to get the rest of that thermal paste off. Alright, so you want a non-conductive thermal compound. Because if you get actually a conductive thermal compound on these capacitors, it's going to short circuit the uh, GPU. The fan is mounted to this little shroud right here. Three Phillips. Alright, now I have the uh, fan replaced. Pretty basic, just a couple screws, a little thermal compound. You don't need to put a crazy amount in here like they did before. See how wet that is and soft? That's what you want. Alright, I'm going to put the uh, heatsink back on there and screw it back together. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, they're doing some work outside, but so. Uh, I'm going to put this in my test rig, but I don't even know if this thing's actually going to work because it already shut off. So I was thinking maybe, it, it, because it was no longer getting feedback from the fan, that it shut down the GPU to protect itself. That's just a theory of mine, but I don't know for sure. Um, so I'm going to test it here before I put it back in the uh, mining rig. Let's see what's up. Uh, it's fire. That's the power switch right there. Alright. Hopefully this thing will boot up. Let's see what's up. Yeah, got a boot. Cool, works. Yeah, so that's why I suspect. I, f I figured it probably wasn't getting feedback from the fan, so it shut itself off to protect itself. All right, cool. Pretty, pretty basic. Not too difficult. All right, awesome.